That's who they thought I was. Killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. Kill that stupid to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Herb wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might be. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. He never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. To get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. What a Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died. Why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire Cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. It wasn't easy as those boys had good cover.
everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Curly Bill, did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. 
To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. 